All right, good afternoon, my friends, and welcome to The Law and Life. I'm your lawyer, Patrick McGinn, and I am your best friend at your worst time. So let's talk felony murder. What is it? Who is it? How does it work? And all that. A couple of days ago, a story broke about the uh, couple that escaped from an Alabama corrections facility, Casey White and Vicki White. The prosecutor in, I think it's Florence, Alabama, L Lauderdale County, announced that Casey White, who survived the incident, will be charged with felony murder in the death of Vicki White. Now for a little background on this. Vicki White and Casey White, pictured here, the lovely couple, Casey White was serving a 75-year sentence for a crime spree, had also been charged with another murder case in Lauderdale County, and was awaiting trial on that, when Vicki White, who is the assistant director of corrections for the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Office in Alabama, broke him out of jail. The background on the story is apparently they met in 2020 when Casey White was in Lauderdale County for an arraignment on the pending murder charge. The sheriff said prison records revealed that Vicki White regularly spoke to Casey White on the phone while he was incarcerated in the state prison, which they monitor phone calls in prison, why they didn't why that wasn't a, a clue or an indicator that there was a problem there and they didn't look into it further, I don't know. Anyway, so they bring Casey White from the, from the state prison to the county corrections facility for a court appearance. Well, Vicki White decides to retire from the department, sell her house, and break him out of jail. Not really break him out of jail. Um, she put, in her, she put in her retirement paperwork. I guess they, she thought that they would continue to pay her retirement if she was a fugitive, but I doubt that. She put in her retirement paperwork after she sold her house, and she had $90,000 in cash from the proceeds of her house. She makes up some story that she's going to transport Casey White to, I think it was a doctor's appointment. She's going to transport him somewhere, and then that's when they took off and went on the lam for 11 days. They were found by the U.S. Marshal Service, apprehended. Uh, when the Marshal Service made contact with them, they rammed their truck, ran them off the road. I guess they had a short chase. They had a suicide pact where Vicki White was supposed to shoot herself, commit suicide, and Casey White was supposed to die in a gunfight with the police. Didn't quite work out that way. Uh, she did commit suicide. She, up, she upheld her part, but Casey White ended, ended up surrendering. So he didn't hold up his part. He didn't want to shoot it out with the, uh, the marshal service, I guess. Anyway, the prosecutor in Lauderdale County announced that he, Casey White, was being charged with felony murder for her death. So how does that work? Well, felony murder is when you're charged for murder uh, and accused of killing somebody you didn't actually kill. They indicted him, and I have a copy of the indictment right here. And you can see from the indictment that they charged Casey Cole White, a convicted felon, with a violation of the Alabama Code, and in furtherance of committing an escape in the first degree, caused the death of Vicki White, who died from a gunshot wound to the head. And the true bill... If you've never seen a true bill statement, here's a true bill statement on that indictment. Now, how does that happen? Well, in Alabama, the felony murder rule is in their murder statute under Alabama Code Title 13A, Section 13A-6-2A3. And you can see that right here. And whenever you're looking up laws, especially if they're difficult to understand laws, one of the best ways to get an understanding of a particular law, especially a criminal law, is to look at the jury instructions. So let's move over to the Alabama jury instruction. This is what the judge reads to the jury to instruct them on the law. When you look at jury instructions, jury instructions are designed to give the jury, which are laypersons, an understanding of the law that they're reviewing, that a defendant is charged with. A lot of times, especially in complex laws, the jury instructions explain what the law is better than the actual statute. Anyway, 
In Alabama, a person commits the crime of felony murder if they commit or attempt to commit one of the following. Arson, burglary, escape, kidnapping, rape, robbery, sodomy, or any other felony clearly dangerous to human life. And the crime we're obviously dealing with here is escape in the first degree, which is escape from a correctional institution. Now, to convict, the state must prove beyond a reasonable doubt each of the following elements. That A, the person is dead, which is Vicki White. So she is dead. That the defendant committed or attempted to commit escape in the first degree. So we got that. Here's where it becomes a sticky point. Number three, in the course of and in furtherance of the crime that the defendant was committing or attempted to commit, or in the immediate flight therefrom, he or she or another participant, if there be any, caused the death of any person. Name and describe the act, such as shooting, whatever. So in this particular case of the white, it's section three, which becomes the questionable section. It's been widely reported in statements released by the sheriff that Vicki White committed suicide. Can you be charged with felony murder if somebody commits suicide? I've never heard of that. In my time as a police officer, I've never seen it. We usually see felony murder, um, fleeing from a crime, fleeing from a robbery, getting a car accident and you kill somebody. Or you get out and shoot out with the police and the police shoot and kill a co-defendant. Then they end up charging them with felony murder. I've never seen it in a suicide case. So this will be an interesting one to watch. There's been some comments from several legal um, legal analysts as well as the attorneys in this particular case representing Casey White that uh, they intend to fight it. He's pled. My understanding is he, he's pled or he intends to plead not guilty in this particular case. It's pretty interesting, at least to me or if you happen to be in the true crime, uh, how felony murder works. There's always a lot of controversy about felony murder. And felony murder is something that comes from the common law. And it's, it's cod I think it's codified in most states. It's certainly codified in, in Florida. And obviously it's codified in Alabama as we see. But it's all, always interesting when you have a high profile case and there's a felony murder charge. And this one is, is no different. And it's especially interesting since it was widely reported that uh, Vicki White died of suicide by her own hand. So we'll keep up with it and see what goes on. Anything else comes, I'll let you know. Have a good one. Be safe.